winter weather is high on my list right now. The mountain passes are getting hammered with snow. In fact, there's a blizzard warning in effect for both the Cascades and the Olympics through tomorrow morning. So, of course, I asked my good friend, meteorologist Rich Marriott, to stop on by. Thank you, That's sir. To come in from the cold. Coming in from the cold. <laughs> You've been a busy morning. There's a lot going on out there, right? There's a lot. There's a lot of snow going on. And I mean, the interesting thing is, is when you guys first contacted yeah. me, we're going to talk about the scarcity of snow in I, the Cascades. I was like, let's talk to Rich about the lack yeah, of snow. Yeah, it was like pack. the middle of last week. And <laughs> boy, have things changed. They really have. So that's all we have to do to get snow is call you in. That's right. And that's and then it just reverses course all together. <laughs> I love no. that. That's perfect. How much snow are we talking about? Well, we got, uh, I don't know, did we, were we able to get the weather center graphics up? Uh, we're working on the weather center graphics okay, right we'll now, come apparently. Back to that. But I will ask um, so when we have a blizzard in, in this situation, both the Cascades and the Olympics, that's a big system, right? Well, it is. And it's just basically, it's a lot of wind, a lot of snow, uh -huh. lower visibilities. Uh, and it's just really difficult to travel. And fortunately, not a lot of people drive through the Olympics. No, so not much of a problem there. there. That, but, yeah, but, but going across the passes, I mean, they all had chains this morning. Blue Pass has been closed for a while. Uh, and there, all, there will always be a few crazy drivers. That why? Are I cause. never understand that. First of all, no thank you. I will not drive up there. But, I mean, look at that. Well, they're used to, I mean, the DOT normally keeps it scraped off to bare pavement. So mm -hmm. people feel they can go 90 over there with their bare tires. Yeah. And you just have to have one person spin out. And then that person who was maybe not yeah. speeding out, he's got to avoid him or the, the jackknife truck blocks it. And was, I think it was closed for five hours yesterday yeah. while they cleared off the accidents. Because that's what happened. I remember standing on the passes, seeing car after one car crashes, yeah. boom, boom, it, it's, boom, yeah, boom. It's chain reaction. Uh, we have the weather graphics oh, up cool. now. Yeah, so in terms of the amount of snow that yeah. fell, so you see pretty good night. This is the last 24 what? hours, 16 what inches of snow Stevens. Mount Baker. Yeah, 17 inches up at Snoqualmie. Now both Stevens and Snoqualmie were about 50% of normal just a week ago, right? Wow. They've doubled their snowpack since okay. then. They were around uh, 30 inches on the 1st of January. They're up around 60 some inches oh, right now after news. just this. And they're gonna get the same amount mm -hmm. that you see there overnight tonight into tomorrow. Okay. So that's really oh. gonna help. And then we get even colder later in the week. Let me show you this though, in terms of yeah. the blizzard. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is gonna work for us because we're a long ways from the weather center. Come I was gonna on. try and advance it. Look. You got it. Oh. oh, you gotta love technology. <laughs> These are from the ski areas, the ridge top winds, the Northwest Avalanche Center. It's wind instruments up there at the top. These are maximum wind gusts since midnight. <gasps> 105 miles an hour at White, at White Pass. Pass. 83 miles an hour at the top of Crystal. A little fast for the gondola. And uh, so you got the combination of wind and snow, which makes it really difficult to travel and see. Yeah. So hence the blizzard warning, which goes on until tomorrow, because it's going to continue to be windy down here and snowy up in the mountains and snow and uh, windy up there yeah. all the way into tonight. That's no fun. Nobody wants blowing snow. They're trying to get you over the passes. Definitely. You want it to be on the ground so you can ski it. Yeah. <laughs> amen. <laughs> it's very so, important. Uh, speaking of that, what does this mean going forward for the snowpack? Looking good for skiing? Well, we're going to get this another round. We do dry out but cool down later in the week. We're mm -hmm. going to see some snow down here probably as we head oh. towards though probably Friday, Saturday most likely. We're going to be daytime highs below freezing, overnight lows, upper teens and low 20s. It's going to be cold. <laughs> question is, is that is always a question for us is how much how moisture is much? it going to be? Yeah. And initially not a lot but then our good old friends, the computer models that we look at, yeah. there's a system going through Oregon that comes north and one of them Brings it a little way. It's like guessing how far a wave runs up on a beach. Right. And so one brings it way up, one doesn't bring it very far. Right, up. right. So we have to get closer, higher resolution stuff. We'll figure it out. Okay, but it's not looking like it's a long term snow. It isn't a long term. Like. We start to warm up a little bit by Sunday, and then okay. by next week we get back to just cold rain, but it also means more snow up in the mountains. Well, that's actually really so, good news. Yeah, it is good news. It feels like winter started a little late this year. Is that, does that seem did. right? Yeah, remember it's an El Nino year, so right. it should be warmer than normal and maybe a little bit drier than normal. We okay. kind of were like that. But even within an El Nino winter, you can have a period of time where it's cold and snowy, which is what we're seeing basically. Yeah. And then it may go back to being El Nino again as we head towards, but then at least we'll have a snowpack. Yeah, that's good. That's Once we good. get a snowpack, then skiing goes on and we yeah. have, you know, and normally in El Nino winters, we get a big batch of snow right after, well, say March, April. Okay. Which normally helps for the summertime. So, yes, so a little mm -hmm. bit late, but at least we have, you know, good water resources. Yeah, so. That's good news. Um, do you love the skiing? Like, where, where do you love it when it, you still skiing around there? Yeah, uh, not so far this year, but yeah. I mean, I, uh, my favorite places to go skiing are actually Mission Ridge and White Pass and Mount Baker. Okay. Because it's kind of less crowded and, you know, some of them, like, you know, White Pass is like 20 years yeah. back in ski world, so it's not quite as frenetic as it is if some of the more popular areas. See, there you go. Yeah. You're welcome. I haven't been skiing since I moved to Washington for eight years, so now oh. I know. I'll go skiing with you. 
Yeah, it's a great place. It'll yeah. give you a good laugh. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that commercial. Do you wear the marshmallow thing? I do. I, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. The whole deal. The whole deal. All right. Thank you, Richie. You're welcome.